We can just fort seven here. I'll go back. Here we go. Uh. Electronics. That hurt like a boss. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Lord, man. It takes like six hits to kill Leo. That is insane. Wait, is that a part? Did I miss that? Yes, I did. What? What? Floor plank. Hello. Yes. So wheat. That is super freaking cool, man. Just the fact that I can climb that is very nice. Did not know that that would work. I am quite pleased, frankly, that it does. There's a box with alcohol. And cigarettes. <clears throat> nice. Oh, hello. Um, where is that? Twenty nine. Okay, I see. I see. What up, guys? How we doing? Is he in here? I guess. Yeah. Hello. Doctor. Hello. Anybody there? Camden. Are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here. Sit. Huh. Antizen. Your voice is so cool. I know your voice. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable. So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure yeah. right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. <laughs> a cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh, shit. You right. really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero. Where the outbreak, the outbreak first, first well first broke, broke out. out. We've been collaborating via radio. But... Though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Okay. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks, chunks of, meat of meat and leaving them around the city. Hoping some of the infected would eat them. So I could observe and document the results but they That's didn't reasonable. it bore no fruit i'm ashamed that i wasted so much time on it no reason to hold any antizen in reserve now in any case all right i'm quite busy so on your way now what was i doing 
Maybe I have to fix the radio. Keep it fast. Some variant there. Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you for a oh, while. Man. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. <laughs> so, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zara's truck. Nice to meet you. Got the first real job for you. Whatever that is. Sweet, did I level up? Yeah! I have skill points to spend. Select one of the skill trees to ex to spend your points. Oh, right. I have to hold A. That's so weird. XP power. So, you get agility from running around, I guess. You get survivor stuff for just in general. Increased survival rank, the higher rank, the better equipment offered by shops. Ooh, that's super nice. Learn how to craft the most basic things needed for survival. Lockpicks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars, and Molotov cocktails. Yeah, I do. Oh, what? What? I got it. Backpacker, learn how to use space, gain four new slots for carrying weapons. That, that is going to be the next thing I get, because that's amazing. Learn how to use plants to create boosters. Cool. Agility tree, perform climbs, jumps, or other free running moves and use skills from the agility tree. Got it. And then the power is... Combat sauce. Yeah, I kind of figured that much. Sweet. I've learned how to craft lockpicks. Search for components to craft this weapon. I. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Plastic and household supplies, and then I know how to make a make it already, so that's cool. Cool, cool. Nice. Hello. Hey, Spike. Spike. I'm Crane. <laughs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. Hello. All right. Shut up and pay attention. There are okay. two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear, and such. The okay. other kind is filled with antisem. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with airdrops. Antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only right. operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our yes. only chance to reach the airdrop. What's okay. my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken That's and his nice team will be okay tonight, so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps, and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if yeah. he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. That's problematic. Before you head so, out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Okay. Tap or hold. Ooh, new inventory. Oh, it's because I'm in a safe zone. I can't pull out any weapons. That's fair. That's fair. Looting is the key to survival. Search dead bodies, abandoned cars, pieces of furniture, and even trash bins to find crafting components, weapons, and money. Hold A to use your survivor sense to identify objects you can loot. Okay. Search the environment for huge locked chests left by other survivors. They're usually placed on rooftops beyond the reach of zombies and contain weapons or other valuable things. Got it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so, uh, we press left, or right, the right stick, G, 
changes our weapon. Uh huh, neat. 93 damage. Nice. I think we will use the plank for a bit. It's got nailed it and everything. Ah, okay. So right is weapons, and left is bits and bobs. As it were. Great. We are out of time. So, in the next video, I'm gonna. I may take a little bit of time and kill some zombies, sort of on the bow. We'll see what happens. Until then, bone with tuna. We'll see you next video.